The sun rose in the north today, and this is why, according to astronomy, the sun rises in the east and sets in the west. At least that's what we all believe, a fact that we've known since childhood. But the fact is that the sun's movements are a lot more complicated than that, depending on where, we're, where we live and where we see the sun. The sun is at the center of attention after this weekend's annular solar eclipse. The event, combined with the summer solstice, saw the UK see its longest day of the year, while well, the whole Earth, of course, has the longest day of the year. And now readers say they've spotted bizarre going-ons in the sky. In fact, one confused reader told us that they were shocked to see the sun rise in the north this morning. And they said that they were up just before 5 a.m. in the morning and recorded the sun rising at approximately 23 degrees northeast. But why actually does this happen? Isn't the sun supposed to rise at the east always and sit in the west? Now, there's actually a very simple explanation according to the astronomers. It's all to do with two factors, the time of the year and where you're located on the earth, your latitude. So with the longest day of the year happening in the weekend just past, this goes some way to explaining why readers saw the sun rise in the north this morning. The sun's movements along your horizon at sunrise or sunset is most perceptible around the equinoxes. The star's daily change of position along the horizon is also more pronounced the farther north or south you are from the Earth's equator. For example, at a latitude of 40 degrees north latitude, such as Sardinia or Beijing, China, Sardinia in Italy, of course, the sun usually rises due east and sets due west on the day of March 20th equinox. Two weeks later, April 4, the sun arises approximately 7 degrees north of due east and sets roughly 7 degrees north of due west. And because the sun's diameter equates to half a degree, the sun has been traveling its own diameter 14 days times half a degree is 7 degrees northwards every day. At 65 degrees north latitude, such as Alaska or Iceland, the sun also rises and sets close to due east and west on the day of the equinox, but two weeks later, on April 4, the sun rises and sets approximately 14 degrees north of due east and west. Therefore, at this far northern latitude, the sun moves approximately one degree or two sun diameters along the horizon daily during this two-week period from the spring equinox to April 4. At mid-northern latitudes, there is a two to three week time period where you likely will not notice any movement of the sun along the horizon centered on the solstices. The best way to notice the movement of the sunset or sunrise along your horizon simply requires you to observe it from the exact same location every single day. Just note the sun's position now and note it every week or 10 days and you should easily, easily notice the sun is shifting. News the sun shifts along the horizon coincides with reports our star could be waking up. NASA announced that uh, we're heading into a new solar uh, cycle. U.S. Space Agency Solar Dynamic Observatory recently spotted the largest flare to come from the sun since October 2017. A solar flare is a flash of radiation from the sunspots, the cooler patches on the sun's surface, and NASA also observed more of these sunspots, thinking that this, our star, that is, could be about to enter its new cycle. The sun actually has an 11-year cycle, and increased activity hints it could be moving towards a more active stage. So we're moving out of the uh, minimum into a, a more maximum, or a maximum. Now, the strong solar flare spotted recently posed no threat to Earth because it was not heading in our direction. NASA says the flare was also not strong enough to alert scientists at Space Weather Prediction Center. It's been little solar activity recently, so astronomers have been keeping their eye on the sun to see what's going on. NASA will not know whether the new sunspots indicate increased activity for many more months. The agency said it takes at least six months of solar observations and sunspot counting after a minimum to know when it's occurred, because that minimum is defined by the lowest number of sunspots in a cycle, scientists need to see the numbers consistently rising before they can determine what exactly 
they were at the when exactly they were at the bottom of a solar cycle. This is by Tom Fish on Express UK. If you'd like to join me on my Patreon account, you will hear content not covered by mainstream media. These riveting stories will be based on my research and I will state my opinions and give my personal insight on diverse and controversial subjects and world events, events not covered by mainstream media and not certainly on not supported by YouTube guidelines. So whatever I have on my Patreon, most of those will not be on my YouTube channel. Please consider becoming a member today. More of the, the most significant and important videos will be on my Patreon channel. Your support helps me to continue my research and keeps this YouTube channel alive. And we depend on your support, your generous charity, because we help economically challenged families here in Athens, Greece, in Kapota, and we also help the young generation with university tuition and the community around our church. Thank you.